about training, I just wanted to go over Bristol and Ellie's equipment uh, for their go home. Their equipment is um, a bit different. They, you have a remote collar here. This is your remote. And it is a two dog system. These girls are also going home with muzzles so they can wear those if needed. And they're going home with prong collars. So I'm just gonna run through all of that equipment really quickly. So this is your remote and the remote collar go home instructions tell you how to turn it on and off and all of that stuff. It's got lots of buttons on it. The only two buttons you need to be concerned with are the black S button and the red S button. Black S button, I've marked it with a B, you can see really faintly. That is for Bristol, B for Bristol. And then there is a red S button and I've marked it with an E, E for Ellie, and that's Ellie's button. Now, the other button over here you can use, it is vibrate or toggle. So for their situation, if you press it once, you see one dog flashing up there, one D, that's for one dog. So that means it's on dog number one, Bristol. Bristol's level is much higher, or a little bit higher than Ellie's because um, she made it to a more advanced level of obedience. So it should be 1D, 10, and C. 10 is the level of simulation out of 100, and C means continuous. So make sure it says all of those things. If it's not set to 10, the dial can change that, and you can bring it back down to 10. Now, see the 1D is flashing, that means that it's not locked, so you can change it up and down. For Bristol, I would leave it like that so you can move the dial as needed when she needs higher or lower simulation. So Ellie is a little more sensitive to the remote collar and she doesn't need as high of a level. So if you hit the T button over here, T, it'll say whatever that means. That means vibrate. Um, so if you hit one of the girl's buttons after hitting the T button, it'll vibrate them. We didn't use that, I don't find it necessary. So you've pressed the T button once, gives you this funny symbol, press it again, it switches to 2D. 2D is dog two, that's Ellie, and she set it five, continuous, and it's locked. See how the 2D is not flashing? It's locked in place, because I don't want to accidentally turn her dial up and down. If it's not locked, it's going to give her whatever simulation is set on the screen, so toggle back to, that and it'll be giving her 10. So I wanna make sure she's locked in. So 1D flashing, not locked, toggle over, 2D not, or 2D is not flashing, it is locked in place. So that's the basics of that. Your muzzle. Opens up really nicely, it goes over their forehead, strap goes over their forehead, a strap goes under their jaw, and it's nice basket muzzles so that you can let them eat and drink and all that stuff out of it. Now, right here's where I feed them. So I give them their food right there. And that's about it. There is one more feature on it that's important, and that is the lock. So when you snap it in place, sorry. When you snap it into place, <laughs> it's hard to do this one-handed. Snap it and then there's a little sliding tab right there. Slide it down, it's unlocked. It actually says lock on it. Slide it up, it's locked. So then I can't undo it. There's no way I can get it undone and unless I break it. So, undown, it can be unlocked. All right, one more thing. They're wearing prong collars. So show you how those fit on them. Hi there. So the prong collar is here. And to take it off, just squeeze the tabs together and wiggle it out. There you go, magic. And to put it back on, you're just going to, I'm gonna show you over here because it's difficult to do this one-handed. Here we go. So to lock it back, or put it back on, you're going to take the pieces like this and put one in a hole. And then, oops, sorry, 
I need a helper. Put one in and then squeeze the other so that it goes in. It just kind of drops in there. Take it out, squeeze and wiggle. It cannot slide through that loop right there like you want it to. So you have to squeeze and drop it in. And that's it. That's your training equipment. Good girls. <laughs>